Hello, I'm Nina, and in this video I would like to show you the VACO 2004 spring system. This is your perfect solution for cordless projects. Here it is how it operates. It is a free-floating system, so you can stop, raise it at any point. All right, so let's see what is in this truck. So first we have springs that sit in the, at the end of the truck. And then we have accelerator, the drums, and then another accelerator for in space for another spring in case the system is designed with two springs. So I want to start with um, the fact that the spring system from VACO is conceptually a uh, new mechanism and operates in a very delicate balance between the tension of the springs and the weight of the shape. That's why it's extremely important to know with approximation to one pound how heavy your body shape will be uh, before we assemble the truck. Uh, why is that so? As you can see, this is a very small spring. It measures only two inches across. Once again, it fits into the 2004 truck. And with the spring being this small, that means that we have very little material inside. So this spring is actually a tape spring. What is a tape spring? It resembles very much the measure tape that you use every day. So with a measure tape, you have a button that you can lock it. While with this tape spring, you have to reach a balance between the tension and the weight. This is how the spring stops. There is no lock to lock the spring in position. It has to be the weight. So, in this spring we have a tape that's approximately about two feet long. The spring can rotate only this much. Well, that might not be enough for a long shape, right? We have shape over 24 inches. What are we going to do then? So here is another great invention from the engineers at VACO. This little piece called accelerator works just like the gear in your car. One side rotates with a certain speed, the other one multiplies that speed. In this case, this is one to four gear, meaning that if you have this spring on one side and spring flips once, uh, spins one time, the other side of the gear will spin four times. And this is how we allow the shade to uh, operate in a longer range. With this system, you can uh, fabricate shades between 15 and a half inches wide up to 19.5, and they could be long as long as 90 inches as well. The minimum length for the shade is 32 inches, and this is just because we need to give enough room for the spring to operate. How do we assemble one of these trucks? Uh, well, like I said, the shade weight is extremely important. Why? Because each one of these springs can carry up to 1.5 pounds. What happens if your shade is heavier than that? Well, we'll stack two springs together because two springs now can carry up to three pounds. If you have more, four and a half, and six pounds. Six pounds shade is the maximum the spring system can hold. We don't advise to go any uh, heavier than this. Interesting thing about the system is that no, many, no matter how many springs you have, one or more, the springs always sit at the end of the truck, behind the accelerator. Your drums are on the other side of the accelerator because we want them to spin faster. 
when you have shape that's between 1.5 and 3 pounds, essentially you will need two springs and then they are assembled in both sides of the truck. If you have three springs, there will be two in one side, one on the other, and respectively four will look like that. The difference in color, you may ask, what is this? One spring holds a little less uh, weight than, than this one. So this is up, this can hold up to 1.3 pounds and this is 1.5 pounds. There is a sequence how to assemble the truck. So with the springs being on, on the end of the truck, that means that the first core will be pushed inside the truck. With one spring, you will have first core at four inches. With two springs, the first core will come six inches. This distance cannot be altered. This, the minimum is either four or six, depending on the number of springs you have. Now I'm gonna show you how to assemble one truck with one spring. Okay, so first for this system, we use these Easy Balance drums. They are a little bit different from the others and have one slider here. Those drums, unlike the others, do not lock, but if you follow the direction of the thread, it has to be perfectly aligned with the top of the casing when you slide it in. So that means that your drum is at zero position. Make sure you don't have any pre-rotation of the cord on the drums. So what this slider here does is it has five engraved steps here and two little grommets here and here. So these two grommets are aligned and this is where the cord comes out of. If you push the slider and slide it over, it's gonna make one step, might be hard sometimes, so you need both hands, but that's a feature, actually, so it doesn't move by itself. So you see that the cord now comes at an angle. This angle actually increases the tension of the cord and it's a way how you can micro adjust the tensions while uh, after you set up your shade. So I'm gonna slide it back on and we'll put it in the truck. I have three cords here. So when I do that, I just pull the cord, make sure that it's perfect, uh, parallel to the casing. And then your drive rod has to be cut and spliced in pieces. Well, if you have one spring on the side, you need a short piece that comes into the accelerator and a long piece. The short piece is cut at two and a half inches. This is enough to hold your spring and go into the slot. The long pour, uh, piece of square rod, we cut your finish shade with minus 475. So it is important how you assemble the um, accelerator. It has two moving parts. Those screws naturally fall into the groove of the square rod. Okay. Tie that in. The accelerator has two plates. One does not have any screws on the plate, but the other side has four screws in. So these four screws have to face the inner part of the shade. No screw plate faces outside. Okay. 
Now, holding the square rod like that, making sure that the groove faces up, go through the drums. Okay. And now here is the tricky part. I put a cross mark here just for visuals. But remember how this piece rotates in a different ratio, both sides? So you have to rotate it until these marks align. The mark sh should align with both screws. The profile of this accelerator has the same profile as the internal part of the tr truck. So there is only one way this will fit in, but you want to align all three points, just like so. Okay, and now put the spring in. Again, there is only one way the spring will fit in, and of course, with the pin out going through the opening. Make sure that you keep the pin inserted because the pin is what keeps the, str the spring locked. If you pull that spring, this will disengage the spring and it will spring out. Okay. Now we have an end cap. The next thing is to fix your port position and tighten with the screws. Do not pull this just yet. All right, so this is a track assembled with one spring only. In case your chain has uh, more weight to it and you need extra spring, you need to cut the long drive rod six and three quarters inches shorter than the finished width of your uh, shade. You need two small pieces like that, two and a half inches each on both sides. What is important to pay attention to here is that both accelerators have to be assembled symmetrically into the truck. The four screws plate plates are facing each other. However, when you slide in the springs, the springs have to face one direction. And you can tell by the pins facing this direction. Whether the pin will be facing this direction or the other, it doesn't really matter. As long as they both face the same direction.